As you have believed, so it will be done for you. In Matthew chapter 8, verse 13, Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go, as you have believed, so it will be done for you. And his servant was healed at that very hour. Jesus' statement is evidence how graciously pouring out his grace to the vessel of faith that is open. Though Jesus proclaimed these words to the centurion, there is no doubt he speaks to us as well. He invites all of us to have strong faith and hope in him. You might be wondering why God is so limited in his communication to us. It is because of our unbelief that he does not permit himself to us. If only we open up the entrance to him by faith, he will listen to our wishes and prayers. And it is further observed and recorded by Matthew that the servant was healed at that very moment. Jesus proclaimed him healed as the centurion have faith to believe that Christ could cure his servant by just speaking the word. It was done accordingly. Being Christ as the Almighty, he commanded and said, let him be healed, and he was healed. Just as God in the creation said, Let there be light, and there was light. Jesus does not say that he will heal us according to our prayers, or he will heal us according to our righteousness and goodness, but he will heal us according to our faith. Jesus demonstrates his uniqueness not only by his words, but also by his action. He, com he uh, comes with power into people's lives just like you and me and transformed us to draw near to him. There's a unique glory to Jesus' approach to people and as a result, we never the same again. As Corey ten Boom said, faith sees the invisible, believes the unbelievable, and receives the impossible. God bless everyone.